Apostle, Prophet, Mama Elisheva, Eliyahu, is true prophet of Yahweh, Yahushua, and the precious Ruach Hakodesh, Imaya. When I was listening to Yahweh Yahushua's words through Mama Elisheva, when Yahweh began speak to those reprobates, there was an earth shaking. It's mani- it was magnitude five point seven. Um, it's in it was in the Pacific Ocean area near Taiwan. Yah's words through Mama Elisheva is so powerful. The earth and all of hell trembled. Though Taiwan often earthquake in somewhat, but I knew that one was a sign, a proof behind that word. It was not incoincident. Hallelujah! And in Taipei, it it was great too. Uh, magnitude. So we only felt the shaking. Praise Yah for protect all of us. So, Mama, please don't worry. We all were safe. Mama RM, we love you. Yahushua bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Kilo na mara kota ta bara man shikilo na morela bara mahashite. Kilo na mohaila bara hashikilo na mara hakata. Shikota ta kala bara mahashiki. Kilo na mara ne bara heko na mahaya la bara mahila bara me shike aila pa baba shite ka ala pakata. Shikilo na morela la na bara hashiki. Kilo na mohoho la bara shikilo na mara kata ta da molo hata la bara shihi. Shikola na mara kota kala ora bara mahaki. Nenona <laughs> Kilona na mora kala he mama shuke to tabara mane ne he ko holo da bara mahake kolo na mene no na ka hashiki kilona mara ta tero da bara mo ho kolo e ba ma sho a mata shuke to ta kala mano na bara hashiki kilona mara kala ne moro ho o la le na mora bara ma shiki ne mara ka ta kolo lo mane ino no bara hasho ne na mara boro lo no na mata shiki to ta kala na mora na bara ma shiki Chikino na more hello da bora mana ne ke ke hello mona na bara ma hakina na mora kala la la mona na bara shete kilo na moro la la mora bara ma hakina na mora kila na mora kato kala ma ma sho ba ma shete e bara ma kila na mare kata na mo chete mara kato la la mana mara ba shekina na moro hola ra more kala la mana sheke ke to ta kala mona na bara ma ke na do ka ho la mona na bara shete e na mara bara ki e ke to ta kala mona na ba shiki la na moro ko la na bara shiki na moro kala la mona bara shiki na na mara ke la da bara ma ta shiki na na moro bara ma shiki na na la moro ho ko la 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 mora he ke la bara ma ta oh my 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 abba yave I come before the very courts of heaven right now. Mm-hmm. I come before your very throne. I come before the council of the prophets right now. Through the name and the blood of Yushua HaMashiach, I don't come in my own name, Elisheva Eliyahu, for I'm nobody. But I tell you this, I'm blood washed and I'm blood bought and you made me somebody the day that I accepted Yahushua as Lord God and Savior and acknowledged him as your only begotten son. I became somebody in your eyes. Now you know every hair on my head. Now I have holy legions of angels that surround and protect me. Now I can call you father, and now my prayers can be heard. And yet a man who is a husband who refuses to and to acknowledge and respect and who who mistreats a holy wife who is a bride of Yeshua especially 
There is a scripture that says in First Peter, and it warns that that husband's prayers won't even be heard. You won't even hear him until he repents and accepts the blood of Yahushua and he repents and confesses of all that he's done, not just to Yahushua, but to the one who's offended the worst next to Yahushua and Abiyah and Eliyah. So Abiyah, we bring all of this to you right now, all of this. And you telling me, Father, that you have a word for Israel. <laughs> In the midst while I'm praying with my, my, my beloved friend and who's known me for 11 years and, I'm in, and calls me pastor and prophet, and I shall leave his name out for now because it's already been recorded in heaven. It's not this world's business, but you know his name and you know every hair on his head. You know every persecution he's gone through and you know that he's, he, what he's gone through is for your sake, Yahushua. He will never betray you. He will never back down. He will never deny you, no matter what the cost is, because he belongs to you, Yahushua. His name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and he wants to live in heaven for eternity, and he does not want to go to hell, and no part of him belongs to Satan. These are the words you have me to say. And so I, I stand before the court right now in the name and the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. I let the blood speak forth for me. For you, Yahushua, are the only mediator before Abba Yahweh. You're the only way he'll even listen to our prayers. If you hadn't gone to the cross at Calvary in my place, if you hadn't spilled your blood in my place, if you were not the blood atonement for my sins, all of our sins, for there is no one perfect on the face of this earth that has ever walked the face of this earth, except for Yahushua, who never even had a thought of sin. Even when he was tempted three times by the devil himself, all he did was quote back the scriptures to him. And if he, who is God Almighty, both man and both God, he was man in the flesh, but he was God in the spirit. And yet the devil dared go and tempt him. Why do we think it is strange when the devil goes and tempts us? What word do you want to speak? There is a certain man that has a word come in. Somebody, Heavenly Father, that I so dearly love. And I see a vision of layers of demons, of demons and demons. And this one that is the biggest and the most loudest of all is the spirit of narcissism and the spirit of rebellion and the spirit of religion and the spirit of Kabbalah and the spirit of rebellion. Spirit of hatred. Of anyone who would speak opposite of what the this man would speak. Soko soko yana nakata makela kata na nokoto. Ora yana kata makela kata. I see him. Oh my. Saka yana na. Oh my. Saka yana nakata moko yana nakata bakela kata. He appears with me in the court room right now. Soko soko yana nakata maki. For the accuser of the brethren is not just Satan, but the accuser is anyone in any form, even if they be in witchcraft, that they are accusing you and they are they are calling forth their mouth to be able to cast curses upon you. The power of life and death is in their tongue. This is what my children have not understood until I revealed it to El Sheva right now. This is why you must be so careful and cautious what you speak even about yourself, what you believe about yourself. For instance, if you say, oh, I'm so stupid, you have just now welcomed the spirit of stupidity to come upon you. 
So So for instance, Abba Yahweh says, if you look in the mirror and you say, oh, I feel so ugly today. Or I'm having a bad hair day today. So so Or no one loves me. So ko so ko No one understands me. So ko so ko I'm so worthless. You have just opened yourself to the demonic spirits that have just been spoken forth out of your own mouth. When I have told you that I, Yahweh, have told you that I am the potter and you are the clay and I don't make anyone worthless. The only ones that are worthless in my eyes are those I call the reprobate. Then I take that clay in my hands and I smash it. I smash it. I smash it and I smash it and I smash it. As Jeremiah 6, 27 to 30 says, they are only fit to be called reprobate. As David said, should I not hate those that hate you? Yes, I should hate them with a perfect hatred. You don't ever want to get on the wrong side of our Yahweh. You don't ever want to get on the wrong side of not only I who sit on the throne, but also of the wrath of the Lamb. Read carefully Revelation 6 and see how they will pray to the mountains that fall upon them. And I speak to the reprobate right now. You who knew the truth. I am going to be the worst on you. For you are in the book of the blotted out. And you who sat at the feet of this minister and this ministry. And this prophet, so Nakata, that I have ordained to be the mother to the prophet, so Nakata, and my ring maiden, so ko so ko yana Nakata makira. Whoa, 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 beyond you, so ko so ko yana Nakata. For you were fed the truth, so ko yana Nakata. You were fed the truth in the prophecies, and you received them, and you believed them, so ko so ko yana Nakata. And you had bowed your knee to me, and you had prayed for repentance, so ko yana Nakata. And you had asked my blood to cleanse you clean as far as your sins as they would be from the east is from the west and you receive the blood atonement the perfect blood sacrifice no longer was it animals like in the old blood covenant I gave my only begotten son Yahushua Hamashiach I Yahweh gave my best I Imaya gave my best so you could have forgiveness so you would have access again to our ear when you prayed some of you are even made leaders some of you I even said at one time I could trust I even said you can trust this one you could trust this man for Elisheva can trust him. But that was a then and this is a now. What has taken place during that time? Whether it be a he or whether it be a she. For I speak to everyone now. For to the ones who are following, following the fallen pastors. To the ones who are following Sokoyana Nakata, Benny Hen, who no longer even lives there anymore, Soko Sokoyana Nakata, for a walking spirit now lives there, Sokoyana Nakata, Nakata, Makira Kata, and Mark Taylor, whoever gave you confirmation you were a prophet, did it come from I, Yahweh? Did it come from anyone, Sokoyana Nakata, Makira Kata? There is a verified prophet, like the one that is speaking forth now, 
Sokoyana Nakata. How much proof behind the prophecy she has in these 24 years? Sokoyana Nakata. And yet there's not even time enough to even get them up there. Sokoyana Nakata. There's not enough laborers to, to work in this harvest field. Sokoyana Nakata. I call you forth now. Sokoyana Nakata. To put proof behind the prophecy. Sokoyana Nakata. For so very, 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 very close. Sokoyana Nakata is the coming of the that which you call the great tribulation the signs have already been there yet how many of you who even know the scripture cover your eyes and say oh nothing can happen to me I belong to Jesus Christ I don't have to obey the Ten Commandments anymore. For all the laws were crucified on that cross. Whoa, 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 beyond the you, you foolish, foolish ones. You think I give my only begotten son? Yahushua Hamashiach, who carries my name in his name? When I, when I said to so when I cut my to the burning bush I am who I am soko soko yana nakata moko yana nakata every time you see the word I am soko soko yana nakata moko yana nakata ayana kata realize that it's saying my name again and again soko soko yana nakata moko yana nakata I am Yahweh, I am who I am, Sokoyananakata. And I answer to no man, and I answer to no woman, Soko Sokoyananakata. Ayananakata, Nanoyanakata. And you show sure us who I am, who I am, Soko Sokoyananakata, Makelakata, Ayanakata, Makinakata. And he was the father that was made into the flesh, Sokoyananakata, Makelakata, Nanoyanakata. And Emiya was within him and never left him, Soko Sokoyananakata, Maki, Ayananakata, Oranamayananakata, Ayanakata. Oh, my sweet, sweet Holy Spirit, Soko Soko Yana Naka, the Ruach Hakadash, Soko Soko Yana Nakata Makiela Kata. I am. We three are one, Soko Soko Yana Nakata Makiela Kata. One Kata Makiela Kata Rina Nakata. Oh, Israel, oh, Israel, Soko Yana Nakata. How often I've cried out for you to come, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, Yana Nakata. You know when you quote the Torah so often, Soko Yana Nakata, Mayana Nakata. But if you don't come in the name of Yeshua, do you know my ears are deaf unto you, Soko Yana Nakata? I only see your mouth move, Soko Yana Nakata. You sing songs of praise to me, Soko Yana Nakata. Yet you have the spirit of idolatry everywhere, Soko Soko. You wear the white round your arms, Soko Soko Yananakata. You're posted above your Soko the Hamsa, Soko Yanakata. You were put everywhere, even on your doorpost, Soko Soko Yananakata. Inside your house, Soko Soko Yananakata, Makelakata, Ayananakata. That is like building the golden calf all over again before me, So Yananakata. I'm telling you this, So Yanakata. I'm not going to speak words softly anymore, for the great tribulation is so very close now, and you are so proud of yourself, O Israel, and how you build that golden crown now so carefully, so with the finest of gold, so you can sit on the one that is going to be called your new Messiah, whom I have already warned, is the anti-Messiah, the one that goes against everything that I, Yahweh, have decreed, so in Nakata, even in the, your own Torah that you read, you call him the anti-Mashiach, for that is what the name shall be. And that is why I am going to be so harsh on you, O Israel, so that the blood shall be up to the horse's bridle. But before I do all that, O Israel, when I cut up a kata, when I cut up a kata, when I cut up a kata, 
I'm calling you back to the blood in the name of Yahushua. I'm calling you back as a bride. Accept the blood of Yahushua. Call on me in the name of Yahushua. He is the only Mashiach. He is your only protector. I know so many of you have. But you do it in secret. You know your own families will disown you. Or they will put you in the mental ward to be deprogrammed. So you have to keep it in secret. My word does not tell you to keep me in secret. Or keep my son in secret. Or you will say that you believe in the Father, but you will not even say my name. That's a secret, O Israel. I will not tolerate this anymore. What has happened to Psalm 91? Why do you refuse to read? Isaiah 53, what is it that you fear, O Israel? Come back to me through the name and the blood of Yahushua. He's the only true blood atonement for your sins. The old blood covenant has passed away. The new blood covenant is here and is in these prophecies that are spoken forth through this this little one that I call so Nakata. Oh, you just cast her away and you just say she's just but a mere woman. Soko Soko Nakata. She wasn't even born in Israel. Soko so in Nakata. Aranaka. Apostle Prophet Elisheveliahu. So who do you think you are? You were not born and you were not raised in Israel. We must have a man with a gray beard instead. So I married her to a man with a gray beard who was born and raised in Israel. And the marriage took place and was declared and decreed and, and it was signed by all three of our signet rings, I, Yahweh, Yahushua, and Yasimaya. The Ruach HaKadash, Oh, but Satan sees this. He knows my true reasons. So he tries to take one last shot of dividing and dividing even you who have accepted Yahushua as Lord. The son of Yahweh God, who came in the flesh, birth from a virgin, but was placed by the hand there of Emias, the Ruach HaKodesh, in this virgin woman's womb, so tenderly and gently was placed there. So as a virgin, she is not God, and one you call Mary, she is not God. She was not perfect, and she weeps and she wails as you pray to her, even at the hour of your death, you do not call upon Yahushua, you call upon Mary, or Mariam, and ask forgiveness, and I cannot forgive you through that name. She was not your your blood covenant. My son was Yahushua. Yes, there will be an elder bride ceremony, and no devil, no demon can stop it. No man, no woman. All it can do is try to delay, but I already know the very time it shall happen. 
Sukoyana nakata makiela katana. And I'm not even going to speak on that much now, Sukoyana nakata. For the ones who need to hear it, and the one who needed to hear it has already heard it. Suko Sukoyana nakata makiela kata. Ayana nakata mukoyana nakata makiela kata. It just depends how much this man wants me to punish him. I speak to this man, I throw you off of your so-called Mount Zion, that I tell you was nothing more than a pile of dung that you were climbing. You climbed a pile of dung. Do you know that? Sukoyana nakata makela kata. It wasn't even a mountain. It wasn't even a hill. It was nothing but pure dung, human dung, animal dung, mixed together with the, with the, lying visions and lying words that came from the straight of the mouth of Satan that was spoke out of that which looks like it is a human but is a fallen angel in disguise operating underneath the worst forms of the occult and even when you've seen the shapeshifter before your face you refuse to believe it it's your choice how much you want to, me to beat you, Sukoyana Nakata Nakata. How much do you want me to pull that beard of yours out, Sukoyana Nakata? How much do you want me to take that beard and throw you off of what you call Mount Zion, and I call nothing but a pile of human and animal dung? But how many of you disobedient children who even come back to me and I wish you clean will go right back in the dung hill again? Digging, 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 digging into that manure again. Digging, 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 digging. Getting your fingers dirty in that dung heap again. And especially to the one who's getting to get the pulling of the beard and thrown off of this so-called Mount Zion that's really nothing but a heap of dung. Shapeshifters. Fallen angels. Left and to the right. So deceived that they, this one thinks that they're holy. Oh, Abba, yeah, I cry out. I cry out. Do something this very day. Do something this very day. So, Koyana Nakata, for I tell you this, so Koyana Nakata, when you wish you were beat, the money changers out of my temple, so Koyana Nakata, Bakela Kata, he took a whip, so Koyana Nakata. But off that whip came pieces of the flesh, for well, that was God Almighty that was whipping them, Sukoyana Nakata. The man who is God, Sukoyana Nakata, combined as one, Sukoyana Nakata, Ayanakata Mokoyana, as he called them a den of thieves and robbers. And now I speak to those who are thieves and robbers, who rob Adoai, Yahweh and Yahushua's pockets, Suko Suko Yananakata Makele Kata, and say, don't give to that ministry no longer at a mighty wind.com, Suko Yananakata. Don't listen to the prophecies that come from Elisheva Eliyahu, Suko Yananakata. 24 years I've spoken forth from her over this internet, Suko Suko Yananakata. I am Yahweh, and I gave birth to this ministry in the spiritual realm and had her by the domain, Soko Sokoyana Nakata Makiela Kata. And who are you, Sokoyana? What? Second, who are you, Sokoyana Nakata? Wait, tell me again. Refresh my memory, you old man of sin. Who are you? Tell me again, old man of sin. You who once accepted my blood, my son's blood at Calvary, and washed yourself with that blood and said you never again return to the Kabbalah and that you would warn the Orthodox Jews and walked all over, all over Jerusalem. Who are you? Remind me. Please remind me. I am Yahweh. I'm listening. Are you getting the message? You are a thief. You are a liar. You are full of the spirit of narcissism. And the spirit of narcissism is what Israel now walks in. You are full of the spirit of pride. You are full of the evil. evil. These are evil spirits. These are like none other. The spirit of rebellion is what got Satan with one foot, my son Yahushua. Lined them all up in a row. 
and Lucifer was at the front. And with one foot, like it was a soccer ball, or you could call it kickball, football, whatever you want to name it, it took one kick. And that's why my son Yahushua describes the falling of Lucifer to the earth. And what was the war that was started in heaven will be finished here on earth as Yahushua comes back to finish it forever. And who are you, O followers of the one that I was speaking to? And I call you a man of sin right now, but I tell you, you don't have to stay that way. For you have not blasphemed yet. You have not crossed that bloodline. Nor will I allow you to. I will not allow you to. But you are a man of sin right now. Who needs to come back to the cross. And needs to be washed clean. With the shed blood of Yahushua once again. And you need to repent and you need to, you need to wail, you need to sob. Forgive me, forgive me, Yahushua, for what I have done. For you put me in such a high position to walk next to another in high position. And yet I dared defy you and knock her out of the way and say, get out of my way. I'm a man. I got testicles. I am the only one. I am the macho man. I am the one that you must take orders from. No longer are you allowed to just submit to Yahushua. For I, for I am the one that you must listen to. And isn't my words good enough for you? When I speak, doesn't the words that come out of my mouth, do you really have to take everything to prayer and ask Yahushua? When this woman who is after my own heart, and women who are after my own heart. And I don't just speak to one man. I speak to men all over the world who are of the true human DNA. I don't sp speak to the fallen ones who look like they are human but are fallen angels in disguise. For you, there's another prophecy coming. And I've already given it to Elisheba. It's just not time yet to be released. I speak to the men and the women who are so full of themselves that they actually are repeating what Lucifer did. They are actually trying to take my place and usurp my authority. And the men will say to the women, you must submit, you must submit, you must submit. What? What is it? You wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. That saith Yahweh. I want to hear you dare say it to my face. I want you to get on your knees before me right now. And I want you to complain that your woman is submitting to the Lord God Almighty. I Yahweh, I Yahushua, and I Yimaya, the Ruach HaKadosh. I'm listening. Can you hear me? I'm coming closer and closer and closer to your ears. I'm listening. What? I can't even hear you whisper. Come on, you men of Yah. Where are you? You're, you're the one who's using the, the authority that I gave you that was only supposed to be spoken in love. Did I not say that you were never to disrespect my, Yushua's bride? Did I not say that you were you were never to mistreat the bride of Yahushua, that you were to love her as Yahushua loved the assemblies of the congregation who belonged to him, his own bride, that you were only to rule her with one way and she would submit to you because she wouldn't even know it was submission because you were already lining up with the will and the way of Ayave and Yahushua and the precious Ruach HaKadosh? Go ahead. I dare you. I dare you. You have done so much wrong in my eyes that I speak 
to the men right now who have who have done this to even the my even the bride of Yeshua, even to my bride. For Yeshua's bride is my bride, and my bride is Yeshua's bride. We are one. Did you forget? And when you insult that woman, and when you dare make her choose between Ayave Yeshua and the Ruach Hakodesh, and you dare try to knock us off the throne, and tell her, "Don't listen to what God has to say. You listen when I speak." My words are just as powerful. No, I refuse to take it to prayer. No, I refuse to walk side by side by you. Who are you? You're just a mere woman. You're to walk behind me. I'm to walk in front. Whoa, 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 whoa. I Yahweh say whoa. Like the... Like what's going to happen in Revelations, remember? And overhead, a voice will be heard to say, whoa, whoa, whoa. That is one of the first woes. Do not repeat what Satan has done. Rebuke the spirit of narcissism. Rebuke the spirit of pride. Rebuke the spirit of everything that offends me. For he, he, Lucifer, even tried to steal. I, Yahweh's, praise, honor, and glory. Woe be unto you, men. And I don't care what religion you call yourself. Until you wash yourself again. And I don't mean with the washcloth at the at the at the cross at Calvary. I mean you better take a plunging bath and see the vision of it, because you need to go right under that blood to wash your sin away and to chase these demons out. And it's you can't even blame just the devil. You can't even blame just the forms of the occult. It is you yourself that has chosen to put yourself on a pedestal. It is I, Yahweh, that warned, don't put yourself on a pedestal, for I, Yahweh, will be the first to knock you off. Consider yourself knocked off, as I have you fenced and I have you in a corner. You will repent. You will confess all you've done. And not only before the cross, not only before the Holy Trinity, and Yahushua, but you will go to the ones that you have offended and you will be weeping and you will be wailing like unto King David did as he pleaded with me for the life of his son. For seven days, he weeped and he wailed and he didn't care who saw him and he fasted and he prayed, begging that that child would live that was conceived in sin for David had murdered him just to get her. And there was no way I would let that child live. And yet David begged me for forgiveness. And my heart was filled with compassion. My heart was overflowing with love. As he called himself even a worm, lower than a worm. He crawled on the ground before me repenting of the sin of murder and of everything he had ever done. And there was no blood of Yeshua then. There was nothing to cover him of this sin. He'd already been sent a warning from a holy prophet like I'm sending a holy prophet now. It's the same messenger speaking forth out of her voice. I am Yahweh. I am the same today, yesterday, and forever. I warn you, get to the foot of the cross. O oh, Israel, you are into narcissism. You are into pride. You are a spirit of religion, a spirit of rebellion. 
I do not accept Kabbalah and you know it. You mix a Kabbalah and you mix it with witchcraft and you mix it with a Torah and you put it all together like it's a stew. And we'll be the one that I, that I entrusted as a leader and leaders. We'll be one of those who call themselves rabbis. We'll be one of those who call themselves and dare to even equal, say that they are equal to a high priest. I don't know you until you get back to the cross of Calvary and take a bath in the blood of Yeshua and confess and repent and weep and wail. And I mean, for those I put in high positions, you will do it publicly. And people will forgive you. They will forgive you. You do not have to go in, into every detail. But you will weep and you will wail and you will be on your knees begging for my forgiveness as King David did. Only this time it will be to the name and the blood of Yahushua. For right now, you want to know where your prayer is going? And I speak to one man in particular right now. You know who you are. You know why you were sent to this earth and what you were sent to this earth to do. You knew and you know who I speak of. And you dare listen to Satan's servants who whisper in your ears, telling you how great you are, you Moses of new. There is but one Moses, one Moshe of old, who paid the price for 40 years, leading millions around in a circle, the children of Israel. For those who refuse, and I speak to the Jews, refuse to accept the blood of Yeshua, you will be finding there's no mercy at the feet of the Moshe of old. And you will find there's only hell waiting for you. There is but one Messiah. And if I don't warn you, O Israel, now, the great tribulation will be upon you. And you will be praying to me. And you will be singing the and say in the Torah, and sing in songs of worship, but without mentioning my name, Yahweh. I will weep and I will mourn for you. Because I want to help you. Because I love you. Why do you think that you wish it was blood of all the places of the earth I chose? Israel, for that blood to be poured out of my only begotten son. I chose you. I love you. Listen to this woman, a prophet, for there's not a man standing by her side right now other than a brother who stirred the anointing up, a brother that is unlike any other brother, for he is a friend unlike any other male friend. He is a brother that she can trust and he can trust her, for she has been his pastor, and he recognizes a prophet when he first heard her, and he, she is the one that reminds him, stay on a path of holiness. Keep praying that you're counted worthy to be called the bride of Yahushua, but never ever, no matter what happens, take the mark of the beast, no matter who tries to corner you, who threatens and intimidates you. You can never love anyone more than I, Yahweh Yahushua and the Ruach HaKodesh. This is for eternity's sake. This is the man that I now have stands by Elisheva, who has stirred up the gift of prophecy within her.
for he is the one that she is speaking to now over a telephone. You see, I have no shortage of distance. I will use whoever I can, but I want a man who does his best to live holy before me, who isn't perfect, but he, he does know how to repent. And he is a man after my own heart. And he teaches what he has taught, even to his little children. <laughs> oh, precious son of mine. Precious son of mine. I call you Dom. I know you don't want your name mentioned. I just call you Dom. You're my little Dom. <laughs> I love you. Ayave, love you so much. Ayoshua, love you so much. And Ayimaya. Your mother in heaven, the Ruach HaKadosh, embrace you. Thank you for being there for Elisheva. Thank you for being there so she has a male covering. As this prophecy comes forth, for all of hell would attack her now if it hadn't been for the fact that she has a male covering right now. For Ezra is not there right now as this message comes forth. Caleb isn't there right now as this message comes forth. But you are. And I want to cry out to Israel. And I want to tell them. You should not be proud of that third temple being ready to be built. You should not be proud of all the everything that's going to be put inside of it. You should be listening to the words that's being spoken right now. And you who know in secret that the Antimashiach will be sitting inside that temple and wearing that crown and sitting on that throne. And all the gold and that's being poured into it. And how the poor are going without food and without lodging because of it. but you know the truth, yet you fear offending your family. You fear being disowned. And yet I said these words, you must confess me. You must confess Yahushua before man. You must, because otherwise you are denying not only I, Yahweh, but my only begotten son, Yahushua, before the women and the men of this earth. And you fear offending your biological families more than you fear offending heaven. This is what you're saying. When you confess me before men, you confess me be you confess before I, the Father. When you deny me before the men, and that means your families, you are denying also I, the Father. You must confess me. You must confess Yahushua. You must lay aside all of your fear and your pride. Oh, Israel, come out of the spirit of narcissism. Without the blood of Yahushua, there is no forgiveness of this sin. And I speak to the men. And I speak to the women who have the spirit of narcissism. In this world, there is no hope to get free. They will tell you to run from such a person. 
who puts himself up there like a god and says every word that comes out of my mouth is God speaking. You have your idolatry, your your idols right there, O Israel. It's no different than the time you had the golden calf. The spirit of narcissism without the shed blood of Yahushua, without plunging in that bathtub of the blood and see the blood and wash yourself clean. There is no forgiveness. For you have made yourself a God, a God to be worshipped like that golden calf. Israel, you think that you are worthy to be worshipped now. You call yourself the holy land. But I, Yahweh, say, oh, Israel, where is your holiness? For you allow every sin that I have commanded to be forbidden. And I'm not talking about the food that goes in your mouth that defiles you. I'm talking about what comes out of your mouth that has defiled you. The worst defilement that anyone can imagine is very soon to take place. If you don't accept Yahushua as Mashiach now, you will bow and you will kneel and you will take the mark of the beast. And there is no forgiveness for this. You will go to hell. And I, Yahweh, will say, depart from me, worker of iniquity. I never knew you. I just have to say this. I have to say this, Dom. I have to say this. I want to cry as I give this prophecy because Abba Yahweh loves Israel so much. He gave his only begotten son and the blood is in the ground and the blood is on top of the Ark of the Covenant even. It was left as a sign where the blood dripped from the cross right under the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant. And only the two witnesses are able to open that Ark. Woe be on anyone who tries to open it and not think that they will, oh my, oh my, I'm not even going there, what Yah will do. I, I believe that he will forbid it. But he calls it the mystery box and he says, I've already warned you about this. It's already been in the prophecies. And, I, and Abba Yah has, it says, the devil has already read about the two witnesses and they are, a husband and a wife, they're a man and a woman. And he just commands everyone to read it. So and to believe it and to receive it. So and just pray for them. For Satan seeks to divide in a way that's never been divided before. Satan seeks to go and cross boundary lines that I will not allow. I speak especially now to the man who will recognize who I'm speaking to, for I've already been blasting his ears, even though he thinks it's just a whisper. He knows it's inside of his head. It vibrates inside of his head. He's listening to lion deceiving spirits give him false vision after false vision. And when he's told his holy angels on his left and his right, instead they're fallen angels and Satan mocks and laughs at him. For one, one time he could hear my voice so clearly. And one time he led people to the cross, to Calvary. He did not lead them to the old blood covenant. He was warned never to teach Kabbalah. One, to you women, you must listen to me. The only one that you're 
held accountable to submit more than anyone else. This goes in any kind of a marriage. When you belong to Yahushua, he is your first love. He is your first husband. You have Abaya and you have Ayabaya and you have Imaya. But on this earth, when a husband tries to tell you to submit, submit, submit as if it's a whip. Because he says, I am the male, and you are but a mere female. So in the Nakata. And when he discards even the mother and says, All the all the sons need is a father. Soko Sokoyana, how dare you? Soko Sokoyana. Ah, Yahweh say, how dare you? Soko Sokoyana Nakata Makielagata. Ayanikata. I am the only father. Sokoyana in heaven. Soko Sokoyana Nakata. Ayana Nakata Mokoyanakata. And you dare say you must submit to the father. And call yourself the Father, Sukoyana Nakata Bakelakata. When I, Yahweh, have the Heavenly Mother, Sukoyana Nakata, Naina Nakata, Mbuenakata, even the heathens will call her Mother Nature, for even they know that much, Sukoyana Nakata Bakelakata, and not even understand the reason why, Sukoyana Nakata. But she does control nature, and it is Emiya, and it's a Rakakadesh, Sukoyana Nakata. Co-creators, Sukoyana Nakata, was I Yahweh Yahushua and Emiya, Sukoso. Who are you, Sukoyana Nakata Bakelakata? Oh, you mere puny man, Sukoso. You better get before my sight, and you better be as a worm in my sight right now, because that's what I look at you as. For you dare usurp the authority of I Yahweh and I Yahushua and Imaya, the Rakakadash, the Holy Spirit, and you dare criticize, and you dare blame, and you dare gossip, and slander. And libel, soko soko yana nakata. And use a word because my wife won't submit. So when nakata, mayana nakata, mayana nakata. Be very careful, oh man. Soko nakata. Be careful, oh man. Soko nakata. For it's not just one man I speak of. It's men of this world who are following the example of this one man. Soko nakata. Who now are mistreating their own wives who are doing the same thing. I see it behind the pulpits. I see it. Even the rabbis do it. Those who call themselves rabbis, I don't call them rabbis. Yahushua is a rabbi of rabbis. He is all the high priest of any high priest. Enough of this teaching of Melchizedek. Melcha, 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 Melchizedek. Soko Sokoyana. Enough of this, enough of this, enough of this, Sokoyana Nakata. And don't you dare ever sign and seal yourself with that letter again. Soko Sokoyana Nakata. Ayana Nakata, Mayana Nakata, Makiela Kata, Nanokoto, Nanoan. You think you know so much, Sokoyana Nakata. And yet I tell, talk to this one man in particular, you know so little, for you are an educated fool. And I warned you what would happen if you didn't lay that pride down. I warned you what would happen. This isn't the first time you've heard the word narcissist. I warned you what would happen if you didn't lay the spirit of religion down and sort out what is truth and what is not. I warned you and I warned you. Never teach a Kabbalah. It's a combination of the Torah and even black magic is involved in it. Never teach a Kabbalah. This ministry is all about leading souls to Yahushua. And for those who are doing this now, and on every Shabbat, they will read the Torah. I now give the new commandment. You read the New Testament. The only thing that can save you is the new blood covenant. Until you can get it through your head. Only the blood of Yahushua will save me. Only the blood of Yahushua will wash me clean. What is in the past is in the past. What is now and what is the future is only 
is the only new blood covenant that can keep you from hell, that can keep my ears open to every word you speak. And how many of you owe Elisheva an apology? You once called her a mother, and you knew she was your spiritual mother. And you gave testimony, and you even put it on your videos, giving a testimony that glorified Ayave, glorified Yahushua, and glorified the Ruach HaKodesh. And then you took them down. You said, I no longer need a spiritual mother. All I need is a spiritual father. That is not the way it is done in heaven. A husband and a wife that is truly in Yahushua, ordained and decreed with a signet ring in heaven, she has his spiritual rib. He is never to walk too far ahead because it's going to pull at that rib. And when it pulls at the spiritual rib inside that woman, that I, Yahweh, allow to be connected, only through the name and the blood of Yahushua can this happen. It not only harms her mind, body, spirit, and soul, but it harms him. And the spirit of rebellion is allowed to enter into that man. And a spirit of pride, which I despise, is allowed to enter in. Rebellion is a rebellion is a form of witchcraft. I have warned again and again. How can you get free of witchcraft from those who are are, are putting the worst kind of occult against you? For those who are in rebellion, they don't even understand they've opened the door to witchcraft. So how can they be free until they come back to the cross at Calvary and confess and repent and weep and wail? Even your songs of praise, I don't hear. This message is especially to those who once said, come to the cross of Calvary. Come in the name and the blood of Yeshua. I once was an Orthodox Jew. I could teach the Torah. Well, I ask you this question, what changed? Why do you not want to teach the New Testament, the New Blood Covenant, the only way, the truth, and the life? You cannot come to the Father except coming to the Son, my only begotten Son, Yahushua. What changed? I'll tell you what changed. When you started speaking against the prophecies, when you started warning people against the prophecies you once held so dearly that you literally held them close to your chest, your breasts, and you said, I know that I have heard the voice of Yah through these holy prophecies that I have spoken forth out of this apostle prophet, then you took them and you wanted to change them and take anything that would offend you out of them that was the spirit of pride that was the spirit of narcissism that was the spirit of rebellion that was the spirit of religion when i speak of spirit i'm talking evil evil spirits we want to know the reason why you who hate Elisheva and don't even know why, as she was told by an ex-husband, in 
written in my records in heaven never existed. So I, Yahweh, call him no name, which is the worst insult that I can give anyone, for even Judas had a name. But he said, I no longer can look upon your face, for your face is a, is a face of holiness. I don't. I want to block my ears to you, Sokoyanakata, for your voice is a voice unto holiness, Sokoyanakata Makela Katana Nokoto, or Nayanakata Makela Katana Nokoto. I no longer can look in your eyes, Sokoyanakata, for I see nothing but holiness that I despise, Sokoyanakata, for I cannot be like you, Sokoyanakata. Oh, but I speak to this special man, Sokoyanakata, and these men. And I speak to all you men who have turned against her. She once called you sons. You once called her mother. You once called her a holy prophet. And now because of others who warn you, who are leading you straight into hell. For you know my voice and you knew it. And that's why you come to Yahushua in the first place. She is the one who taught you. So obey the Ten Commandments. So be holy as 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 Yeshua is holy. Follow the example of Yeshua and fall on your face and repent when you miss it. For I know that I cannot clean up my fish until after I catch them. And it is Yahushua's name and blood. That they first fall on their face and confess and repent. Sukoyana nakata, O Israel, Sukoyana, I'm allowing this to happen, Sukoyana nakata, so I can use Sukoyana nakata, nakata, this as an example, Sukoyana nakata, with how many of you are following the same example that are going to lead you right into hell if you do not come out of agreement with Satan right now and realize that when that third temple is built, it will not be your Mashiach that sits in it. It will be the anti-Mashiach, the very son of Lucifer, Satan. And you who are ashamed and yet said that salvation prayer that was in a video that Ella Sheva wrote 24 years ago was the first salvation prayer that ever she had written. Sokoyana nakata ma on the internet. Soko sokoyana nakata ma kela kata na nokoto oranya nakata. And I had Ezra put it into the Hebrew language. Soko sokoyana. The anointing was in what she had written. Soko sokoyana nakata ma kela kata na nakata yana nakata. The Hebrew was for your ears to hear. Soko sokoyana nakata ma kela kata. But just because it was spoken in Hebrew did not make it more holy than the original words that I gave her that was written underneath the anointing of the Ruach HaKodesh. Get it straight. And you accepted Yahushua and you asked forgiveness, but then you will not admit it to your own families. You will not admit it to anyone. You think it's a secret you can keep only between you and Yahushua. I do not tell you to cast your pearls before swine. I warn you, do not cast your pearls before swine. Right? And I'm not speaking of that which you eat. I'm speaking of that. Who are the reprobate? Enough foolishness, but enough foolishness. Come to Yahushua, come to Yahushua, come to my beloved son Yahushua. Come in his name and come to his, through his blood. Come and wash yourself clean again. Come to me again, come to me again. Only don't come in your name. Don't dare to come before my throne and think that I will listen to your prayers. If you have not confessed and repented and wash yourself clean, with the shed blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, the new blood covenant. Abraham's blood covenant is for a blessing, yes, but first 
you must be circumcised in heart. You must walk in holiness. You must be uh, strive to obey the Ten Commandments. You must worship Yahushua as the Lord, God, and Messiah. You must realize that he is my only begotten son. You must follow the new blood covenant and listen and believe what's in the New Testament. The two books never should have been divided. I've said it before in a prophecy. I'll say it again. They never should have been divided. And then you Jewish people, you would have not stopped the five books of Moshe. You would have went on. And you would have re re realized that the animal blood sacrifice was but for a foreshadow until Yahushua came. Repent, O Israel, accept the only, the only new blood covenant that can wash your sins away. Repent, O Israel. Repent, O men of this world who have beaten their wives with the word submit, submit, and yet you do not even submit to Yahushua. You do not submit to I, Yahweh. You do not even listen to the conviction of the real Kakodesh within your heart and your soul and your body. You only use your mind. How can I control her? And especially if she is a prophet, how can I muzzle this prophet? How can I put like a dog muzzle on her and shut her up? Well, I'll tell you how. You can't. Yeah. I, Yahweh. Say, you can't. For I have put my spirit within these women and those who are of the bride of Yahushua and those who are even of the guests at the marriage supper of the Lamb who are women. No man will she ever put before my son Yahushua. She will refuse to submit unless you submit to the Holy perfect, spotless lamb of I, Yahweh. His name is Yahushua Hamashiach, the only Messiah, the only new blood covenant that I desire to pour forth all over Israel. And I raised up Elisheva first, and then I raised up you, Ezra, to walk hand by hand, together in unison as co-leaders, never to think that one was better than the other, for you both are submitting and listening to I, Yahweh, I, Yahushua, and Imaya, the sweet Ruach HaKadosh that convicts both of you and tells you, what is truth and what is a lie. But anyone who would rather listen to the false visions that make you think that you are more than a mere man that can be washed with the shed blood of Yahushua so you can be without spot or wrinkle. And instead you listen to those who are of the witches those who are in the form of every kind of occult, those who would lead with the spirit of rebellion and even place fallen angels that you could hear to puff yourself up with pride and even try to put you on a throne. Be careful. You're following after Lucifer's example. Be very, very careful to those who have followed after Judas's example and a thief and a liar and a betrayer. Don't cross that bloodline of Yahushua where there's no return. Don't cross that bloodline of blasphemy. For whatever you speak of this ministry, whatever you spoken against this prophet speaking now, she is my ring maiden. 
and I trust her for she has been tested not only in small things but in large things. She has been ha now told three times she must choose who to submit to. And each time she will lay that marriage on the altar of sacrifice and she will say, there is no one I submit to first other than Yahweh, Yoshua, and the sweet Ruach HaKadosh I have tested her now three times. Anyone else who wants to prophesy to her and come with your lies, you she once called sons and now I call reprobates, you cross the bloodline of no return for you knew what you were doing and now you're out after one other. Be warned before you take another step over that line and I speak to those who still have ears to listen to this prophecy and hear my voice, Abba Yahweh, speak. Don't take that other foot and put it over that line. For it's blasphemy. For you once knew the truth. And be warned. For thus saith Yah. When you've done evil, unto those who've only done you good. Evil does not depart from your household, except with one, one exception that wasn't there when that was written. And that is through the name and the blood of Yahushua. You can be forgiven. Just confess what you've done. And don't just confess it before Yahushua secretly go to the one that you offended next to Yahushua the greatest for when you confess before Yahushua you confess before I Yahweh and you confess before Imaya the Ruach HaKodesh I speak to Israel you who said that salvation prayer that before that YouTube channel, Yaz Lady in Red, was taken down, and old Satan rejoiced. For don't you see, the one prophecy he feared the most was over 300,000. And you can multiply that, you can even triple that, for YouTube will never allow you to know the number of views. But it was over 300,000 people who only spoke Hebrew said that salvation prayer that Ezra spoke in the Hebrew language. And nearly all of them repeated that prayer, believed that prayer, and yet would not confess it. For they feared losing their biological family more than their place in heaven. Repent, repent, repent. For I already know whose name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I already know whose name was already blotted out before the foundation of this earth. You all work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For all of you know, somewhere deep inside of you, the decision I forced you to make in heaven on whose side you would fight on, whether it be Lucifer's, now I call Ha Satan, or whether it be I Yahweh, Yahushua. Anima the Ruach HaKodesh. You all work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Come to Yahushua. 
come and wash yourself clean. For if you've committed blasphemy, and if you crossed over that line, you will call this a false prophecy. And you will hate Elisheva more than ever. And you will deny it is even I, Yahweh speaking. And you will still say, stay away from a mighty wind.com. Stay away from a mighty wind ministry. For it's been taken over or, or somebody else is speaking. But it's not Elisheva. This is why I'm prophesizing now. This is going to be on the front page. And the last prophecy isn't even finished yet. That's in a video. That very shortly will be. But it was put up there as prophecy 139 that I never even gave permission for it to be. For it wasn't even finished yet. It comes from this ministry. And you can't just claim to be of this ministry. You must work for this ministry. And you will work hand in hand with Elisheva. She knows who the true Yosh was. Demon stompers. Elite. I now call the best of the best. But they're all being tested. You will see them come and you will see them go. It only depends on how much they want to be the bride of Yeshua. How much they truly are willing to give up. For this world is not your home. You're merely strangers passing through. Your home is in heaven. These are the words I have to speak to you. And there's more coming for Israel. For this prophet is not going to shut up. No one's going to put a dog muscle on her. And no one's going to tell her she must submit. She only submits to Yahushua, Ayave, and Imaya, the Ruach HaKodesh. And then I speak to all women everywhere. The words that I have just spoken to Elisheva. All go for you also. Then you will submit to the husband. That only I, Yahweh, have declared and decreed that you have a spiritual rib connected to him because he is connected to Yahushua's rib. Can you not see this? He is connected to Yahushua. Therefore, he is connected. Yahushua is connected to me. And the Ruach HaKodesh will live within you. And so you'll never, ever tell a wife to submit to anything that doesn't line up with the will of the Holy Godhead, the Holy Trinity. And, it, and to every husband around this world who has done this, I warn you now, Nahum 1 says, I am a jealous, yeah. And yes, I know, KJV Bible says, I am a jealous God, but I have a name, and my name is Yahweh, and no one takes my place, and no one takes Yahushua's place, and no one takes the Ruach HaKadosh's place. She is my sweet, sweet Ruach HaKadosh, and she is your spiritual mother in heaven. She is mother wisdom. That's why I did not allow King James to take out the name she as wisdom. Read the book of wisdom for yourself and get to know who the Ruach HaKodesh is. You will be very surprised of who the Holy Spirit truly is. And read the book that took seven years of nothing but study. And that is Secrets of the Ruach HaKadosh Holy Spirit. And I gave it to Elisheva Eliyahu. And with others, they formed it and put it in a book. And this book has not only the image that I gave to Elisheva, as she's seen it so clearly in a vision, but on the back of it is a crest the holy seal of protection 
So make sure you know when you get this book where it's at and even put it underneath your pillow and pray that I stir up the gifts of visions and revelations and dreams and protection. Keep it within reach and you will see and you will hear me speak. And there is a new edition coming, but it all depends on one man's decision, how much he wants his testimony in it. Ezra, how much you want your testimony in the new book? I'm calling you out. Ezra Caleb, I'm calling you out. Before the whole world, I'm calling you out. You who walked all over Jerusalem and had heat stroke, how many times? You who suffered to get that book all over Israel, do you not know they wait for you? To, to deprogram you, those in the Kabbalah? Don't say you weren't warned by your wife, who happens to be a holy prophet of mine, an apostle. Don't say you weren't warned. Do you fear more of what they will think of you in Israel? Is that why you're delaying this book? Because you fear your biological family hearing. This is why you've not put any of those prophecies into Hebrew. This is why you feared. You knew a new word was coming. And this is the one you didn't want to hear. You don't want to lose your biological family. So you're afraid to lead them to a mighty wind. Dot com. You're afraid to lead them into any ministry where the prophecies are spoken and they will hear in Hebrew as well as in English. You're afraid to even say what you and Elisheva teach. You say, oh, but I've already told my family about Yahushua. That's not enough. Did you warn them that they're going to hell if they don't accept Yahushua and the New Blood Covenant? Did you dare warn your father who is so very close to the grave now as he is up in age? I prophesy this to you, Ezra, before the entire world. Sorrow upon sorrow upon sorrow you will know. For the answer is no, you have not. Everything else, beloved son, Take to the cross. Be like unto a King David and fall on your face. And take a bath in the blood of Yahushua. Once again. Then go to your wife. And before the world you will confess. For you see it's better that you tie a millstone around your neck and be drowned then do what you did to the little ones so young in Yahushua that they would believe that they don't need a spiritual mother anymore. That's like I, Yahweh, saying, I don't need the Ruach HaKadosh, my sweet Holy Spirit, anymore. Imaya, which I never would do. And I speak to every man in this world who has done the same and said, you don't need to hear from what God says. You don't need to pray so much. You don't need to seek the face of Yah. When I tell you to do something, you just obey. You just submit. It's not the way it works. I gave clear instructions. And for those of you who have never listened to Bone of My Bone, a prophetic poem before there ever was an Ezra, the marriage instructions are right there. And for you pastors who have used that whip 
and stood behind the biggest pulpits of the congregations and warned that wife, she must submit, she cannot speak forth any word that you disapprove of, because what about the tithes? What about the offerings? And so you shut her and you muzzle, shut her up and you muzzle her and you threaten and intimidate her or you threaten the divorce. Yes. And you would be shocked if you knew how many of the women want to speak forth and only have to stand behind the men in the pulpits of the so-called Sunday churches. Yet I hold those women accountable for they know who Yahushua is and they know that no one is to ever put a man before God first. So I hold them accountable for when they shut up and they allowed a mere man to do that to them. Instead of fearing our Yahweh and Yerushua and Emeya first, the Ruach of Dash. The beginning of the wisdom is the fear of our Yahweh. Now I pray right now, Abba Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua. Samakata Nakoyana, I spoke in every word you want me to say. Sakayana Kata Mokoyana Nakata Makele Kata. And the ones who have to listen, who are the men who have done this all over the world. Soko Sokoyana Nakata Makele Kata. And have used that whip like it was. A, and not only that, they have stolen, Heavenly Father. They have stolen by telling the women, do not give. They've t stolen by telling the men, do not give to this holy ministry that, that gives more than it gets and, and works 24 hours a day, Father, and you know that it is true. As we have video makers now that you have brought forth, and now we wait for the translators to come forth. And I especially ask this translator of the one who will take the prophecies and put them into Hebrew that are meant for Israel, come forth in the name of Yeshua. Do not delay anymore. What Ezra refused to do, you come forth. For Yah always has someone to take someone else's place when they refuse to obey in fear of what someone else will say. I'm speaking to the spirit of the man. I'm speaking to the spirit of the men. I'm speaking to the spirit of the women who will receive this prophecy and know it is of me. And for those of you who do not believe and do not understand, then, it, then it's either one of two things. You are either reprobate, you've been blotted out, or it's not time yet for you to understand. Soko soko yanana, but you will understand in the great tribulation and you will remember this prophecy. For already I've cracked open just a very glimmer of the sealed prophecy of prophecy 78 that has been sealed since, since has been sealed for years. Soko soko yanana kata makela kata nanoko yanana kata. For it's such a fearful, fearful prophecy. I would not allow Elisheva to speak it or even remember it. As it was given back to back to back to back. Soko soko yanana kata makela kata. And then I erase it from her brain in case she'd speak it forth too soon. Soko yanana kata maki. But after those that she had called her sons. Soko soko yanana kata. Those that she had raised in the spiritual realm and they would brought them to Yeshua. Sokoyana Nakata dared call themselves prophets. Sokoyana Nakata dared insulted her. Sokoyana Nakata Makela Kata dared call her false. Soko Sokoyana Nakata Makela Kata and Nayana Kata dare steal from this ministry. Soko Sokoyana Nakata Makela Kata and Nona Nakata even put a PayPal banner there. Sokoyana Nakata Makela Kata. You think our Yahweh don't know? Sokoyana Nakata. Where is your fear? Sokoyana Nakata. The fear of hell. Sokoyana. Where is the fear? You reprobate to give these false visions. Who have the walk in spirit? Of her worst enemies. They're literally evil spirits in the image of a man or a woman, and they walk right into them. They speak. 
so when nakata in nakata to the one who should know better than this so so in nakata as ella shava already warned so they're trying to outvision one another so koyana nakata bakela kata nanaya nakata they're giving you lion visions of puff your head up with pride so so in nakata but did he listen no no and no so koyana nakata so now i must rebuke him before the whole world so koyana nakata until he gets on his knees and confesses Sokoyana nakata with tears of remorse. Sokoyana nakata, yana nakata, ayana nakata, in tears of asking forgiveness. Soko sokoyana nakata and admits that he is not the head leader of this ministry. It is a Godhead. It is a Holy Trinity. It has. It always be, will be, just as it is in heaven. So it is here on this earth, through this through this ministry, that I birthed through her. This is a warning to all men. Your women are going to raise up now. They're going to get in your faces. To all of you who have used the word submit like a whip, like in the money changers temple, where you actually take pieces of her flesh and her soul and her spirit and her mind and her body with it. Sokoyana nakata, for she loves you and she wants to respect you. Soko sokoyana nakata maki, but she knows that she must submit to only the Creator, the Messiah, and the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Hakodesh that lives within her. And when you line up with the Holy Godhead, the Holy Trinity, then she submits to you, for she knows that she does it because you do it because of protection. It is all about the protection. Yahushua said the word submit was all about protection. The word about head. Even when I call you Ezra the spiritual head, prayer leader, can you not see the capitalization of the letters that I keep having her write the word prayer in? Do you not understand why I told you that you had to prophesy? And speak in other tongues, even though you didn't know it was a prophecy, it was speaking in other tongues. You were protecting her. You were going before her. That is that is what the spiritual head prayer leader is. It is not that you are the head of this this ministry. It is not because you're the head of her. I Yahweh am the head. I Yahushua am the head. I am a Yahweh am the head. Can you not understand, oh, husbands of this world who have done the same thing to their wives? And I could right now name names, but I will not, for you know who you are. And you know it goes, when this prophecy goes around this world, these women who are truly full of my spirit, these women who are truly the bride of Yahushua, they will no longer fear you when you are, they are being told and taught wrong. They will get before your face and they will say, I will take this a prayer. And if Yahushua agrees with you, then I will submit to you. But I will submit to you only to the name and the love of Yahushua. I will not submit to you because you are cruel. I will not submit to you because you were, use words of abuse. I will not submit to you because you intimidate me or cause me fear. I will not submit to you only if you give only, only in the love, only in the First Corinthians 13 definition of love. Will I submit to any man called a husband? And if you dare tell me that you will not pray with me and you will not do communion with me and that you worship without me better by yourself, then I will say, and I speak now, I give this permission to the women all over the world, you go ahead and you tell that husband, then you are not lined up with the will of Yahushua. And I will go and I will worship alone and I will take communion alone and I will go and I will pray alone and I will ask Yahushua what I do with a husband. Am I supposed to do a holy divorce decree? And now I speak to the husbands who have the wives who do the very same thing and they do not want you taking anything to prayer. They do not want to do anything holy with you at all. You have to decide who do you fear more? That wife who intimidates you, who causes fear, 
who will cut you off sexually, who threatens you, says, I'll even throw your clothes out the door. I'll divorce you. I'll take the children. You must decide, O oh, husbands of this world. For these women, I call them Jezebel. They do not want you to hear from Ayave. They do not want you to hear from Yahushua. And they do not want you to hear from the Real Kakadash. They only want you to obey a mere woman, Sukoyana Nakata, who refuses to wash herself in the blood of Yahushua and ask and can confess their sins, not only to Yahushua, and beg him for repentance. So their sins is as far as the east is from the west, but confess before the husbands that they have not allowed the holy husband to lead them to true repentance, to teach them, to mentor them. For that is what my desire is. When I put a husband and a wife together, it was more than to have children. They can mentor one another. And, but they must have trust and loyalty. And they must have it first before the Holy Trinity, before they can have it to one another. These are the words I have to say this day. And many of you have been offended. For that, I, Yahweh, do not apologize. But many of you have been enlightened. And you have seen through eyes now more clearly. And many of you now fall on your faces before Yahushua and said, Oh no, what have I done? I'll tell you what you do. You crawl on your hands and knees. Right back to the cross of Calvary where I first found you. And I am faithful to forgive you. I am faithful to hear your prayers once again. I am faithful to be a blessing unto you and your wife together. This is what I have to say to you. And O Israel, another prophecy is forthcoming. And because I love you so much, it's not going to get easier. It's going to get tougher on you. For the day is coming very soon, I'm going to reclaim you as my bride. But remember, great chastisement comes with it. If you do not obey and conform to the image of Yahushua. This is what I have to say. As is spoken, so it is written. What is the date today? Well, it was the 29th. What, what is the date today? It was the 29th. January 29th, yes. uh, 2019, um, I have spoken, it's still the 29th. what, it's still the 29th. Is it, okay, 29th, and I have spoken, and I pray, Abba Yahweh, in the name of Yeshua, that your word that I have spoken will not fall on, on um, unfertile ground, but it will take root, and it will grow in the most yes. beautiful flowers, the most beautiful plants, the most beautiful harvest around all this world that we are in over 50 languages of now, but especially to Israel, they will repent, they come out of narcissism, and to the men who have fallen into the traps of narcissism and rebellion, and all yes. forms of the witchcraft, and listen to fa false visions, and false um, uh, prophets who have given them and literally are working for Satan himself to take this, these, these men to hell. And I speak to the women too, who have the husbands, who have done the same. No longer listen to anyone unless they line up with the will of Abba Yah, Yahushua, and precious Ruach HaKadosh, Ima Yah. Just put them on, your marriages on the altar of sacrifice. And just like Abraham had to do, you have to do the same. But just pray for them and cover them with your prayers and ask that they repent. For that's all we can do is ask that they repent in the name of Yahushua. And they will come back to the cross where Abba Yah found them. So their prayers can be heard once again. For we need them. We need them. We need their protection. We have the protection of Yahushua. But Yeshua, you said to me, when you first raised up, rose, when you first had Ezra Caleb, 
and he went before me, before I prophesied, he gave a warning that anyone who would come against uh, the rod of wrath would come down. The rod of wrath would come down on anyone who would come against this ministry or this marriage. Yah's rod of wrath, Yahushua's rod of wrath would come down on them. And I asked the reason why, but now I understand how many take, men will take the word submit and how many will discard a wife's prayers and how many are jealous and covetous even of their relationship with their true husband, Yahushua. Instead of encouraging, building her up, So you women, rise up, rise up. Especially you who want to be the bride of Yahushua, rise up. And it comes a time when a woman has to be able to speak to a man who is even a husband and say, this is what I hear Yahushua say. And read, him in the, read it in the scriptures to them. Yah is no respecter of persons. He will. You, he told my husband and I that it is either I will be mentoring him or he will mentor me. It doesn't matter which way, as long as we climb that faith, the stairs of faith together to heaven. Those words were given to Ezra, Caleb, and I in Israel. And now I just pass them on to you. Marriage is never about a dictatorship. When you have a ministry and it's a co-leadership, it's never about a dictatorship. It is about togetherness. The servant is not greater than the master. Our master is Abaya, Yahushua, and Imaya, the Godhead. Let's rejoice in that. Let's rejoice in that together. For they will never lead us astray where no man, no woman is perfect. The God that we serve is. Thank you, Abba Yahweh. I've been honored to give this word. I don't know what they'll do to me. Um, I had another man stand in the, in the gap for me tonight. As you, as Ezra was not with me at the time this prophecy was given. And so you had a very, very special friend and a brother to stand in the gap for me. And I thank you that he was my prayer covering this night, for I respect a male head covering, and I needed it, and I thank you for protecting me. And you wish his name, bless him, protect him in all ways, and you wish his name, I pray. Amen. And amen. Somebody amen. give amen. some glory to Yah. Amen. Praise Yah, hallelujah. Praise Yushua. And I, I know, I know beloved Ezra, if you were here, Beloved Ezra Caleb, Caleb, I'm calling you forth. I know you also would be praising and worshiping Yahushua, but you weren't here when this word came forth. And so another brother took your place. So I would have a prayer covering of a male. Thank you, Yahushua. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, Abba no one will ever muzzle me. Amen. No one I will love ever love more than the Holy Trinity. Abaya, Yahushua, and Imaya, Ruach HaKadosh, sweet Holy Spirit. No one, no one will ever take your place. And all the women say and amen. shout the same thing. Amen, 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 amen. amen. And all the husbands say to the women who are in the same situation, amen, amen, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I give you the glory, Abba Yahweh. I give you the glory, Yahushua. I give you the glory, Imaya, for this beautiful prophecy. And I know it is. it goes along with Israel. I pray that they repent. I pray that they repent. Amen. They do not take pride. They do not get in narcissism. They, do, they realize that that third temple that will be built is not going to be a day to rejoice in. Amen. It'll be a day to sorrow except they have Yahushua to protect them. That's my prayer. Oh, Israel, I love you. Amen. 
I love you. I am full-blooded Jew. Yes, I'm a woman. And no, I don't have a gray beard. But just because I wasn't born in Israel, I am married to a full-blooded Jew Amen. who was born and raised in Israel. Amen. But he too knows that he must repent and only through the blood and name of Yeshua can he get to heaven. And that's a daily process. And for all of you who accepted Yahushua because of that salvation prayer, Hebrew salvation prayer that my beloved husband said, Caleb Ezra, You cannot keep it a secret. You have to confess it. You cannot die with it and think you're going to go to heaven. No, Yahushua isn't going to just choose certain ones to come to as you lay on your deathbed and just, even though you've been so good and faithful to reading the Torah and you have obeyed Yan the best you could do, but you refuse to accept Yahushua. No, he is not going to send Yahushua to you. Why should he do that? He is no respecter of persons. You must confess before you die that your Mashiach, your blood covering, the holy blood atonement for your sins and the one that you will call out for, for forgiveness, is Yahushua, HaMashiach, the only begotten son of Yahweh. And read Isaiah 53. That is not describing the land of Israel. That's describing what Yahushua went through for you and I and everyone whose name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That's all I have to say. Shalom to each and every one of you. I thank you, Abba Yahweh. I, I just, I, I know you have so much more to say, but I'm going to end it right here. So I, I remain Abba, Abba Yahweh, your apostle, your prophet, your Elisheva Eliyahu, the wife of Ezra, the wife of Caleb Ezra. May the Caleb come forth. I wait for him. In Yahushua's name. Amen.